almost around uh, 30 ladies uh, who <laughs> DM me and uh, pl we plan to meet but uh, during uh, <laughs> the, when we plan to meet and when we meet they, they just uh, change their mind and stop chatting with me because they now they realize that I'm not. Uh, yes, you heard it correctly. Not five, not 10 or 20, but over 30 girls found him on social media and fell head over heels, thinking he was a wealthy white man. Each time they met him in person, they would run away and never speak to him again. He's a singer who takes great care of himself and is always active on social media. With his nice beard and charming posts, he has a lot of admirers online. Many girls fall in love with his online persona and think he is a wealthy white man. But when they finally meet him in person, it's always a shocking surprise. I went to his place and, hey, I was shocked. When I first saw him, like face to face, uh, he was not a Mzungu. Beyond being mistaken for a white man, this young man has faced countless challenges due to his disability, making his story even more remarkable. I used to to, to come across people who told me that what I need a pesa, like a money, that they will take me to Tanzania, but that guy actually threatened me. Who is this guy? Why did people treat him this way? How does he respond to all this? I was fascinated by his story when I met him in Kenya. We talked for hours and I learned so much about his life. That's why I want to share his story with you. My name is Meshat Tisenda. I'm a Kenyan, I'm a person with albinism, and I'm a second born in a family of three, uh, with a raised up by a single mom. So I grew up in Kitale, in Milimani, where I started my primary school, uh, education at uh, Milimani Primary School. As a person, as a child with albinism, it, was, it wasn't that, it was difficult for me because most of the uh, people were like were surprised and were shocked to see a person with albinism. At time you can at time they used to snatch away my shed and also some even used to to, to take away my my spectacle uh, because you know as a person with albinism I'm low vision so with, without uh, my specs I can't see so they used to snatch away and make fun of me. Other call me, calling me a uh, uh, negative name that I, I could even, I can't even mention. Uh, it was horrible. This situation is very common because people often strangely treat others with disabilities. Because of this, he lived a very isolated life without friends. His family was the only source of support and strength when others, especially his fellow students, did not treat him well. It was all because of his disability. Over time, he began to accept and enjoy life, even though challenges continued to come his way. Most of the time I used to go home crying to my mom, but my mom used to encourage me that I'm fearfully and wonderful me. It, it, it was, uh, she used to tell me that it's, it was just color, but uh, I'm just a normal person uh, like any other. Also, my brother and sister used to, they were my only friend because at times even a parent can, uh, can restrict their children to play for me. So I, I, I only had my, my brother and sister who I used to play with. But with time, uh, as I continue with my, my academics, when I reach uh, uh, grade, uh, like standard five, and I, was that I, I started to participating in sports. Uh, that's when uh, other kids started to associate with me. And also the teachers used to remind the other people that I'm just a normal person and it's just uh, about Melanie. So I made friends because I'm also a cheerful guy. Uh, I like jo doing jobs. So through doing jobs, making fun with other, this made me uh, to attract more uh, friends, so uh, I, they even started to vote me to, to participate in student leadership. 
During this time, he started making many friends and showed that being disabled does not make him different from others. He played and enjoyed himself with others and achieved good grades in school, finishing his classes as a good student. However, encountering people who acted weirdly towards him affected him deeply, eventually causing him to drop out of school without finishing his studies. I did my standard eight uh, at uh, St. Patrick uh, Mazua Primary School and scored uh, 321 marks and joined this school called uh, French School Namanjalala. That was in 2015 when I joined Namanjalala. So uh, it happened that uh, one day we were just running uh, cross country and this is certain guy just appeared from nowhere. Uh, he threatened that how oh, I will take you to Tanzania. Like you know, uh, I used to 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 come across people who told me that what oh, I need a pesa, like a money that they will take me to Tanzania. But that guy actually threatened me, and it was uh, just horrible that made me even stop like in school, and I started to fake that I'm sick so that I can just go home and stay home. This really affected my mental health and even my performance in school. Uh, until in 2016, I just uh, decided to drop out of school and went home. My mom, uh, I, I didn't share this story with anyone. Uh, I just told my mom that I want to transfer, but because she, hadn't, she didn't have that capacity to transfer me to another school, I just remain at home. This was very difficult for him because he spent a year at home without studying or working. However, an opportunity arose for him to go back to school. There, he got involved in various activities that helped him realize his potential. This experience made him a special person and led to his popularity on social media, which brought him many new friends from different backgrounds. In 2017, I decided to go back to school. I was transferred to another integrated school. It's called Mitoto Salvation Army in Kimini, where I studied afresh at Form 1. I like the, uh, my deputy principal uh, made, uh, asked me to join scouting. And when I joined scout, I started, I was that active in music, in, in clubs and that's when I realized that I'm talented in music. And that's when uh, I started to use music to advocate for myself as a person in albinism. This really gave me that courage to stand up and to defend myself as a person in albinism and also to also advocate for other uh, students who are visually impaired in that school. Uh, in, uh, in 2017, we went, like we, we even uh, represented Kenya in Eastern Africa uh, scouting competition and we became we, we, be, we came back as champions. Uh, that uh, competition was held in Kambala, Uganda, 2017. Now, uh, I continue on with my uh, studies in, uh, in secondary until uh, in 2018, 2019 during Corona era when my mom lost her job because of COVID issue so she lost her job and i i told like now this is the end of me because she was the only person uh facilitating my school fees our uh, upkeep now that i was in high school in form three and now that she has le she has lost her job i told that this is just uh, uh the end for me but thanks to well, well wishes uh i was supported in my they supported me i did my KCSE in in 2021 20, April and scored C plane of 45 marks and joined Tangala University College where by I uh, I pursued a social diploma in social communication. It wasn't that easy because many of times I used to to miss classes because of school fees and also because of upkeep sometimes i could lack food sometimes uh, issue with landlord but all in all uh in time i just i i just keep on keep on uh moving despite the fact those challenges 
uh, some people used to help me with the food, who used to support me wherever they can, until like I uh, managed to complete my diploma. But now I, I wasn't able to graduate because I was, able, I was supposed to graduate last year. But I couldn't graduate because I had uh, arrears. As he advanced in knowledge and gained self-confidence, he was no longer discouraged. He engaged in singing activities and received various trophies for his excellence. His love life became very interesting after he became famous on social media. Many girls started falling in love with him, mistakenly thinking he was a white man. This story includes one of the girls who loved him under that impression. My name is Emakiria Twanza. Um, I met this guy on uh, social media, on Facebook. At first, I thought he was a white man. So, when we started chatting, okay, I didn't even ask him if he was a Mzungu or not. I just uh, told myself, uh, th this is a white man, so obviously, he's Mzungu. So, uh, we started chatting continued chatting and then we planned to meet. I went to his place and hey, I was shocked. Uh, in my DM, most of the ladies are attracted to me. Some of them feel like, uh, they just believe that I'm, <laughs> I'm a white guy. So uh, they just uh, invoked me, started chatting with me, conversation, asking for money. Uh, like if I can, uh, estimate almost around uh, 30 ladies uh, who <laughs> DM me and uh, pl we plan to meet but uh, during uh, <laughs> the, when we plan to meet and when we meet they they just uh, change their mind and others even just uh, stop chatting with me because they now they realize that I'm not a uh, white guy I'm just a person in the community. The best thing about this girl is that when she met him, she didn't act like the others. She stayed close to him. Despite more than 30 girls rejecting him after meeting him, she managed to stay with him even though he wasn't the white man she thought he was. The first time we met, I was really shocked, but I didn't want to show it. We went to his house and started chatting, and I became so sad after hearing how every girl he met had rejected him once they realized he wasn't a white man. Many girls fall in love with a white man because they assume he's wealthy, but that wasn't the case for me. I genuinely liked him. To be honest, I was shocked, but I couldn't act weird like the others. Yeah, uh, these are some of the challenges that a uh, person with that meaning that I felt that uh, discrimination and other stigma because other people believe that as a person with albinism like uh, it, it can be transmitted like through even hardship so they just people have negative like ne negative perspective about albinism when i told my friends i had a white boyfriend they started treating me badly once they found out the truth they said it wasn't right, but I didn't see it that way. Just because someone has a disability doesn't mean they're not like others. I had no problem staying with him for that reason. He's a good person, hardworking, and very cool. Some people think he's different from others, but he's just like everyone else, and in many ways, he's special. There are many things he does that even so-called experts can't do. This girl is very different. Today they both love each other and spend a lot of time happily together. He found someone who loved him and stayed by his side when everyone else walked away. It's heartwarming to see them walking down the street, so happy together. When they are apart, they look at each other's photos because their love is strong and they can't bear to be without each other. They are together and confident about their future. This love has helped him face many challenges along the way but giving up is not an option for him. So before even I step out of my door in the morning, I just know that 
I will come across negative or positive things. So this made me to uh, to stand strong about myself as a person with albinism. Uh, for me, I have a dream to as a person with albinism. The only thing that I can use for me to maybe to sustain myself or and even maybe to give back to the society is only through education. I believe through education. If I will get that chance to be educated, I will be able to also give an impact to the society because th that's the only tool that I can use because I can't go for a Django, uh, CZ and Django. Maybe uh, because I can't work for long in on the sun because I might get uh, skin cancer. So I believe that through education, through getting ed educated, I'll be able to employ myself and also other assist other person out there with albinism. Not only with albinism, but any Indian person out there like me. So if I maybe I can get, uh, if maybe I can get any support of school fees upkeep or uh, even rent i will appreciate because at the moment growing up i wanted to do law because i interacted with many children uh, who had uh, issues uh, who were had different uh, disability and they share their story how their parents are treated them how other children are being hide in the house because of their disability how other parents just uh, abandon their children because of disability so for me i have the, this dream to pursue law and especially for children right just to defend right the children out there who are abused by their parents or even their guardian because of their disability so uh, if maybe i if if somebody is willing to uh, to support me to uh, to to support me in my education, to enroll for a degree in law, I would really appreciate because this is something that I have that zeal that I, if I get educated, I will be able to advocate and I will be able to ensure that these children out there who their voice are, are, have not been heard, who, who haven't get, they have gotten any justice uh, from what they are facing through ed being educated as a as a lawyer i will be able to ensure that they get uh, they get uh, they get justice and also now with my skills in journalism because i also specialize in photography and i also do graphic design if maybe i can be able to get uh, a good laptop for graphic design and uh, photo uh, a camera or photography this also will be able to to help me to cover my stories and also to do other projects for people that also to that i can also generate my income to cater for my livelihood and also to give back to that kid out there who maybe have a dream maybe to to do photography i can also train i can also volunteer to train them yeah because what i believe in for me to reach this far, it wasn't me alone, but other people, all and other people sacrificed their resources just to see me uh, striving through this far. I want people to understand that we are all the same, regardless of disabilities. Everyone deserves the best because we are all human beings. Additionally, I strongly oppose the behavior where girls are judgmental. If you decide to love someone, love them as they are. Everyone has flaws, and many people might judge you too. If you want to be his friend, learn more about his story or help him in any way. He is open to anyone who wants to approach him. Uh, for whoever is watching this, uh, this video, you can you can uh, reach me on my YouTube channel and on my description uh, you can get my contact you can also call me you can talk or rather if maybe you can send your support to that number on my YouTube description and it will be a blessing we believe 
that uh, hand that gives receives so whichever yeah whichever amount that you feel like you can support me i will really appreciate and even just an an advice or rather an encouragement also will be a blessing so i really really appreciate so for you that is watching out there this video i say thank you this story teaches us that people with disabilities are just like everyone else they deserve the best they deserve to be loved they deserve happiness and they are just as capable as anyone else we should not have negative feelings or actions towards others because of how they look or who they are thank you for watching i am simon greenwood and this is afrimax english please remember to subscribe <laughs>